your, your opponent has often said that you would be a freshman if elected, that you would also be in the minority. So in that position, how do you think that you would be an uh, a vocal voice for your constituents in, uh, in Washington? Right now, we have a congressman that's ineffective. He has no committee. His leadership does not want any part of him. He's ineffective. He's a minority of one. I'm going to Washington. I am going to be able to work with Republicans and Democrats like I did in the city council. I worked with the minority leader, Jimmy Otto. I worked with Vincent Ignizio. And together, we were able to get everything we needed for Staten Island. And I know how to work with Republicans. I know how to build bridges and network with Republicans and Democrats. And that's what I'm going to do when I go to Washington. I'm going to work hard. And I'm going to work with all my colleagues. Because you know what? People of this country, they want a Congress that will go and get something done. The time has come. The time has come for we, the people, to have a voice. And I'm going there to represent the people of this district and to get work done. And I know there's a lot of new members coming in, Republicans and Democrats, and they want to get something done. And we want to work together for the best interests of the people of this country and of this district. Can I just Amen. ask you a quick If I could just comment on that. You know, my opponent keeps talking about he's going to work with people in this circular argument of working with people. In the minority, he won't even be in the room regardless of what his committee is. Okay, the reality is when Superstorm Sandy hit, four of us were in the room writing the bill. Four of us. And that's the reason why we got $60 billion in San Diego. It's why Staten Island University Hospital, Staten Island University got $40 million in grants. Richmond University M Medical Center got $12 million in grants, and $101, $191 million was given for two new ferries and MTA uh, transportation infrastructure. The reality is the minority is not even in the room, and I'm the only Republican in all of New York City. He would be only one more Democrat voice to make 13, would add nothing to the table. You know, for someone that was in the room, it's sad. It's even more sad when I hear that. We had to wait 80 days to get a bill passed. When in Katrina, we passed the bill in 10 days. Okay, okay, you talk okay. about hold, being hold, in the hold room. Hold on, hold on. Hold on just a second, Mr. Reggae. Look just, what you just, did to us. Just, just a second, Mr. Reggae. I, I need to ask the audience to, uh, to, to uh, stop with the interruptions because it's starting to take um, valuable time away from the responses. I'll let you finish your thought, and then I had a follow-up from Mr. Grimm. Go ahead. He talked about being in the room, but we had to wait 80 days. 